Welcome to class. I'm glad you're all here. We're going to get started with a quick write. It's in your Google Classroom. It's talking about today what the importance is, what the importance is of today's um, voting, and what your thoughts are. At least 10 sentences. Right, and we're going to share. That means when I call your name, you need to have something written. So please open Google Classroom and open the document for today's assignment.
Okay, Sunday, go ahead. Everyone should be writing. Thank 
Okay, I'm going to share my screen. Everyone should be wrapping up your 10 little sentences. So this is your ELA quick write. What is today and why is it important to the US? So just a quick write, 10 sentences. Remember to think about your who, what, when, where, why, and how as you are writing about today. Two more minutes. I'm going to be checking for those who are actually share their information for your speaking and listening skills.
All right. Um, no, you can have three. Three minutes. Three minutes, what's happening today? Why is it important to so many people? Who do you think's gonna win? Why would you want that person to win or not to win? What are your thoughts? Three minutes. Okay, time to share. Let's start with Julian. Okay. Uh, am I supposed to be the the thing about? Yep, the quick ride. 
Okay, uh, hold up, being weird. Uh, today is the, today is election day. The day comes around every four years and determines if uh, the U.S. will have a new president or the current one will serve another term. Uh, this day is important for the U.S. because it determines our country's future. Uh, the reason for this is because every candidate has their own plans for the future of the U.S. Uh, this election candidates are Biden and Trump. Uh, these two candidates have extremely different views on what the future of America should look like today. Today is big because it will determine the future for many families. I think Biden will win because he isn't that biased towards anyone. Not only that, but he also has a plan for COVID-19 and global warming. And he supports BLM, which shows uh, he does want equality for everyone in the U.S. despite your race or religion. Nice job. Thank you for sharing. Good job. All right. Um, Elaine, you're up. Today is election day, the day we will decide who will be the next president of the United States. It is important because whoever the next president is will affect how America will be in the future. It is also the last day you are allowed to vote. At this day, voting will not be possible. Okay, good job. Thank you. All right, Brooke, your turn. Wait a minute, wait a minute, hang on. Okay, try it now. Hmm. Wait, let me double click and maybe that'll open it. Okay, now try it. Okay, I guess we'll have to share with you later. I'll see what I can do, okay? Hang on. Um, Evelyn, you're up. I haven't finished yet though. All right, I'll come back. All right, thank you. Um, Hang on, Brooke. Okay, now try. Today is so important to the U.S. because it's going to be the decision of who's going to be the new president and how things are going to work newly or not so newly. Okay, good. Thank you. Thank you for sharing. Alfredo, you're up. Alfredo.
Okay, gone. Esteban. Today is important because we're choosing who's going to lead our country. Uh, it's important to choose the correct person because then it could lead up to wars or even global warming. Okay, that's good. Good, good, good. All right, Alfredo, you're ready to read? Hang on, let me get back to you. Thank you for sharing to everyone so far. Go ahead. Alfredo? It should be 10, 10 sentences. All right, I'll be back. Edward, your turn. Edward? Miss, I don't wanna share. Why not? I, I don't I don't I don't like sharing, you know. I'm I'm not yeah. Nobody can see you. No, I just don't want to share. Yeah, but I have to give you a speaking score. I'm sorry. <sighs> It'll be fast. Okay. Okay. Yeah. On my quick right, right? Yeah. Um, today's election that is important because we get to elect a new president or the same president uh can't run again in office um i hope joe biden wins because uh he was vice president for obama and he gave obama some good ideas and helped him through so he must have experience in the white house that was perfect you did absolutely fine good job thank you You did just fine. All right. Um, Christian, you're up. Christian? Okay, I'm gonna mark you absent. Okay. Santiago? Why is your, you don't have any, hmm, interesting. Santiago, please unmute yourself. It's your turn. Santiago? 
Santiago. All right. Oscar. Are yes. You? Your turn, please read. <clears throat> um, I just got here, Miss. I don't. I don't know. Uh, what's going on? All righty. Thank you. Okay. All right, um, Luis, your turn. Uh, today is about choosing the correct person to lead our country and make it better again, because if we don't, it's gonna fall apart. And the presidents that are gonna run, the people that are gonna run, for today's election is going to be Trump and Biden. And uh, the election is going to happen today. And that's all. OK, that's very good. Thank you for reading. All right, Evelyn, let me get back to you. Good job, Chris, uh, Luis. Let me get back to Evelyn. All right. There you go. All right, but I apologize in advance. It's not very good. That's okay. It's just a quick write. All right, here we go. Today, the 3rd of November, 2020, is election day. On this day, Americans will vote for the new president and will watch the election through the television. Our candidates are president for president are Donald J. Trump and Joe Biden. Donald Day Trump is representing the Republicans and Joe Biden is, re is representing the Democrats. The 2020 election is going to be one of the most important events of the year. It's going to be important because there are very terrible things that are happening throughout the world. This is the reason why the election is very important. Our homes, our home needs to be put in good hands. Being com completely honest, I believe that Joe Biden will win this election. I believe this because Donald J. Trump was pretty helpful, but he could have done better for Americans. And I believe that, Amer that Americans are ready for a change. In conclusion, today is the election day, and I believe that Joe Biden will win the 2020 election. Excellent, good job. Thank you very much for sharing. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. Jasmine, you're up. Jasmine? Is this, do we have to do it? I have to do a speaking uh, grade for you. Oh. Okay. 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 What is today and why is it important to the US? It is the election, and the reason why it's important is because it gives us the freedom to vote, and it is all because the leader that is running our country is not doing his job. It is also important because Joe Collins Harris is, I think that they would be a perfect candidate for this country. For this country. Okay, you did just fine. Thank you for sharing. Good job. Sylvia. Um, today is election day, which is where people from all over the U.S. vote for a new president. It gives the people the right to select their own government. This is important to the U.S. because we need a president who will actually be better. It's important to vote because it's an opportunity to decide the way things should be, but also it's our prior. It's an obligation as a resident. It makes the overall of the country's well-being. It's about the beliefs of power, which will bring forward consistent changes in peaceful circumstances by voting. We tell 
elected officials how we feel about the most important issues of our government, like education, health, security, and more. With the new president, the people will feel much safer. Excellent. Good job. Thank you, Sylvia. Sine, you are up. Um, oh, 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 okay. Um, all right. So today is election day, and it, it's so important to America because electing the next president can determine what will happen in the future because it could kill us all. And <laughs> in this world of pain and anguish and torture, or it could lead to good things like the end of Corona. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Anyways, also elections keep a democratic or republic country running as they give people the right to choose their own government. I hope Joe Biden wins because he worked for Obama and yeah, Obama was like the best president. So yeah, mm -hmm, yeah, mm -hmm, yeah, I, I'm done. <laughs> okay. That was very creative. I like all of the on I know mine was sorry. Y'all can compare to mine. You added, you added flair to it. So that was pretty, pretty awesome. Good job. Okay, thank you for sharing. <laughs> Alexandra, you're up. Um, uh, I'm sorry, but I only got to get four because I couldn't think of any um anything else. Just read what you've got. Okay. Right. The U.S. is important today because so many people who live here matter to their vote. So many, so many people come here to further dreams or goals. In the U.S., we have elections here in Washington D.C. And due to the due to the president, people come here for a better life, and it's a big part of my life. And many people uh, will get to see the election tonight. Okay, you did fine. It's just fine. Thank you. Okay, Jerome, you're up. Jerome? Jerome? Okay. Miguel, your turn. Uh, um, today's an important day because it's election day and uh, um, it's decided who's gonna be the new president. And that's all I wrote. Okay, at least it's a start. Thank you for sharing. Mm -hmm. Um, Gabriel Guevara, your turn. Today is election day and it is important because it'll determine the future of our society. Okay. That's it. All right. Thank you. Um, Brenda, you're up. Brenda. Brenda. What? What? Oh, my bad, my bad. How do you need to share? Wait, what was it again? You're 
Aaron, your turn. Okay, Sine. Aaron? Are you not gonna share? Okay. Um, uh, All right, let me go over your homework with you, your class work. Yesterday we talked about relevant and irrelevant information that was in the story, Omnivore's Dilemma. And we talked about the feedlots and the industrial farming of the cows and how Michael Pollan, um, his claim is that the industrial farming of cows was extremely bad for the cows and extremely bad for humans. So we had to determine what was relevant evidence that could support his claim. Well, we're gonna continue on that line of thinking and we're going to take a look at some examples of how to choose relevant versus irrelevant information. So in your Google Classrooms, there are your lesson five activities, relevant versus irrelevant. You have three pages. One page is, has the answers on it, but you have to put those answers in order. So when you open up the first page, the first page, oops, you need to tell what relevant means and you have to tell what irrelevant means. And if you wanna write this down real quick, relevant, to be exact, relevant means something that is connected or applicable. Something that is connected or applicable. Irrelevant I lost my paper. Irrelevant means that it's um, not applicable, that it does not relate. Does not relate is not applicable to what you're talking about, okay? So put the meanings there and then you're going to sort information from the second page into whether it's relevant or irrelevant. The second page, let me go to that one. The second page has the answers on it and it's all about pizza. Yay. So you're gonna read through these and you're gonna just choose is it relevant or is it not relevant, irrelevant? For example, I'm, I'll give you uh, an irrelevant example. Many students from our school make pizza at home and enjoy it for family meals. Is that relevant to pizza being uh, served twice at school? No. So you wanna make sure that you put making pizza at home 
is irrelevant to serving it twice a week at school. Okay, does that make sense? All right, so you're gonna sort that second page between relevant, type it in, or whether it's irrelevant. Okay. On the page with the answers, just make sure that you put an R for relevant and an IR for irrelevant. All right. So just mark it up. R for relevant, IR for irrelevant, and then put them in the right boxes. The other one, the next one, this one is finding supporting, one supporting point for the main claim. The main claim is that eighth graders should start school at 9 a.m. So you need supporting uh, point for that. Tell us what the supporting point would be for eighth graders starting school at 9 a.m. Supporting point is your thought, your idea. What would that be to support the main claim? The reason that we should start at nine o'clock for eighth graders is this, is because. So you're gonna write your sentence and then you're gonna choose a piece of relevant evidence to support your thought. Okay, so down here, does one of these sentences support what you are saying? Just underline it. Very simple, very easy, very straightforward. If you have a question, raise your hand. Nope, okay. All right, so let's go to our slides. For Tuesday. I wanna go over tone again because we're gonna be talking about um, author's tone and word choice words, which are really important. In the previous video, we saw how writers have a specific purpose when they write. We also saw that they bring their point of view, which colors what they say and how they say it. There's something else that's very important, wow. the author's tone. So stick around and let's see how understanding the author's tone. Sorry, hang on. Leadership is not just about sitting in the pilot seat. It's about knowing what you're doing and taking responsibility. In the previous video, we saw how writers have a specific purpose when they write. We also saw that they bring their point of view, which colors what they say and how they say it. There's something else that's very important, the author's tone. So stick around and let's see how understanding the author's tone can help you improve your reading comprehension. Hi, welcome back to Snap Language. My name is Mark Franco. This video is part of a series about detecting and interpreting elements in writing that help you improve your reading comprehension. So please subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any of our videos. We saw that the writer's point of view affects what the writer actually says about the topic. Depending on your point of view, you may feel very differently about things. 
depending on how you feel, you treat the topic differently too. So your point of view affects your attitudes and your attitudes affect how you express yourself. Attitudes and opinions affect your tone. For example, let's say we have a meeting, but you're very late. Hear the differences in tone. What happened? You're late. What happened? You're late. What happened? You're late. The words were the same, but you heard the differences in the tone I used, right? So actually, the message was not the same. I communicated more than the words were saying by themselves. So, how does the writer's tone really work in writing? Word choice. Writers select the words they want to use very carefully because they want to communicate their message exactly. Thankfully, the language gives you many options that communicate many nuances. For example, I can say, your lateness is annoying or irritating, infuriating. You have no idea how utterly infuriating your lateness is. Whoa, this last one was quite pissy. So you see that by using different vocabulary, you can express the message, plus something else, the tone in which the message is intended. Let's put it all together. We've been learning about the author's purpose, point of view, and tone. Let's say the writer wants to write a passage in psychology using facts and really good information. So the purpose is to inform. The writer may have a point of view about the topic, which may affect the information he or she includes. What tone is appropriate for this? Probably a neutral or serious tone. Now, let's say the writer wants to write about his position against criminalization of marijuana in the United States. The purpose will likely be persuasive. If the writer feels very strongly about his point of view, he or she will use a negative, even angry tone to talk about the criminalization of marijuana users, but a positive, maybe hopeful tone to talk about the decriminalization of the use of marijuana. As you can see, these elements in writing work hand in hand. As the reader, your job is to determine the writer's purpose, point of view, and tone to interpret the message. Doing so will improve your reading comprehension. Understanding the writer's purpose tells you what information you need to focus on while you read. Determining the author's point of view helps you evaluate the information and the author's possible biases toward the topic. Detecting the writer's tone helps you understand not only the words you're reading, but also the attitudes the author is conveying. I hope you enjoyed learning how these things come together. Okay, so why did I show you that? When you are looking at relevant and irrelevant um, evidence, same thing is true. For the school, uh, for the eighth graders going to school at nine o'clock, Depending on how you write your supporting point for this claim, the words that you choose are the words that will convince someone that eighth graders going to school at nine o'clock is the right thing to do. Word choice words help to build the tone that you want to provide to the reader. So if this was something that you were writing to Mr. Woolsey, you want to give him a serious tone, which means your point for the claim is going to be important based on how you say it, okay? And how you say it can be backed up by one of these relevant evidences that support why it's important for eighth graders to go to school at 9 a.m. Your word choice words matter because it shows what your tone is, okay? Same thing with, 
Same thing with the other one. When you are picking and choosing the relevant evidence, <coughs> you look at these statements. Many students from our school make pizza at home and enjoy it for family meals. Does that sound like you're serious about having meal a pizza at school twice a week? No, because the words enjoy at home, sounds like you're just having fun, okay? You wanna make sure that you are choosing word choice words that support and emphasize how you feel about something, how you feel about a topic. And that's the same thing is true with uh, Michael Pollan. He made sure he picked the words that would affect the reader the most. Uh, which other two? Um, these statements are going to be written in order of whether they are relevant to having pizza served two days a week. Are they relevant or are they irrelevant? And I can't write on this form here for you, but irrelevant would be the sentence that says, many students from our school make pizza at home and enjoy it for family meals. That's irrelevant to pizza at school. So you would type this statement into the irrelevant evidence box, okay? Does that make more sense? You're gonna do that for each of those statements in the box. Uh -uh. Take it with you. Okay, now the other form, oops. The only other one you're doing is the one about eighth graders starting school at 9 a.m. These three lines is where you are going to put your point of view about eighth graders going to school, okay? So this is your supporting point. And then you find a sentence here that you underline that goes along with what you say, okay? Okay, if there's no questions, that's your assignment, should take you about 10 minutes. Alrighty, make sure you submit it. See you later, have a good afternoon. You have a question? Miss, oh, have, what day do I have your book? Um, not this party. 8, 8, 2, 0, 9, 8, 7, now. Okay.